Time to play a game of Over Under with our resident analyst, Louis T. I've got six questions for you, Louis. Starting right. off with the Bengals tight end, Tyler Eifert. He has 12 touchdowns through 11 games. Right. Sat out last week due to a neck injury, but assuming he plays the remaining four games, Over Under 16 touchdowns for Tyler Eifert. I think you said the key phrase there, assuming he plays the rest of the games. If he's healthy, I'm going to take the over on 16 touchdowns. Andy Dalton loves this guy in the red zone. He's looking for him. He's making a conscious and concerted effort to get him the football when they get into the red zone, and he's been coming up big for him. If he plays the remaining four games, I easily see him surpassing 16 touchdowns. All right, the Falcons are 6-6. Six and six. They've lost five of their last six, over under 500 by the end of the season. I'm going to take the under on that. The Falcons are struggling. They just can't find their way. Matt Ryan has been horrible this season with turnovers and – I, I just the defense has been so good it's a shame I, I'm gonna take the under on the Falcons finishing 500 this season and Vikings quarterback Teddy Bridgewater has eight touchdowns eight interceptions over under 12 touchdowns on the season wow if you extrapolate the eight touchdowns he has in over a 16 game set right now in 12 games he's got eight he would hit directly on 12 so I'm gonna push on him getting 12 touchdowns I think he's going to remain consistent and get 12 touchdowns on the season. And the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are surprising people mm -hmm. with a huge resurgence, and a big part of that is because of running back Doug Martin, who's had high productivity up until this point of the season. He currently has 1,153 yards, mm -hmm. over under 1,500 yards by the end of the season. Doug Martin has had just an amazing season this year, and he's, like you stated, a huge part of the reason why this team is six and six and vying for a playoff spot. He's had issues fumbling of late and it's cost him playing time just as he did in that Falcons game I, I, if he plays and he doesn't fumble the football he's gonna surpass 1500 yards but if he continues to turn the football over they'll look elsewhere um, give me the over 1500 yards I think he can make it I think over too Despite another stellar season for Phillip Rivers, the Chargers have only won three games at 3-9, and nine, over or under five wins for the Chargers. Hmm, I, I don't like that Chargers team and the way they're going. They're so banged up. Bless Phillip Rivers' heart. He is out there giving it all he has, but they're not getting the five wins this season. I'll take the under on that. The two most dysfunctional divisions all season long have been the NFC East and the AFC South. No team is above six wins, over or under eight wins to win the division for both divisions. Let's start with the AFC South. That division is amazing because earlier in the season, Free, we talked about that being a division, <laughs> that six and 10 may win that division and the, the two teams at the top of that division got hot in the Texans and the Colts and both of them reside at six and six right now. You look at their schedules finishing up, both of them have three games remaining in their divisions. They're gonna get, one of those teams is gonna get to nine wins. So I'll take the over on the eight and eight for that division. Now, if you flip the coin and go to the NFC East, wow, this division has been brutal this season. The Redskins had a golden opportunity to go to six and six and potentially get to eight and eight. Maybe, you know, north of that, no one is surpassing eight wins in that division. I might even have to take the under in that division and say seven and nine might be the division winner in the NFC East. All right, that wraps up our game of over-under. Thanks a lot, Louis T.